Okay, to open the keyboard, basically we have to unscrew all the screws around the outside. As it turns out, if we're fixing keys, we don't normally have to take the whole keyboard case apart. All we have to do is loosen these screws here, which are pre-loosened so you don't have to watch. Okay, once, once these 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 screws are out, the whole keyboard assembly is loose. So we can, we can pull the keyboard assembly forward. This will expose the keys. By simply pulling that up, that will allow us to, we might have to pull it quite hard, there we go, and that key comes out. If you look down into there, this is where the key contact rubber is. If there's a piece of dirt in there, or a piece of sand, or whatever else shouldn't be there, you can usually free it just by putting a, the back of a pen in and wiggling it around. Okay. okay, basically to put it back together again, put the key in, push it down. Long nose pliers. Pull the spring up and there we go. And if it was a piece of dirt in the contact, the key would now be plain. Once the contacts have been cleaned, it's very easy. Um, we make sure they're perfectly dry and we just line up these little rubber notches with the holes on the board. And put the rubber notches in. And there's another rubber notch. And you gently work your way all the way down and as you see they fit very nicely and they back in place the way they should be. You can use a, a blunt round object okay great. Basically if somebody's been living in a rural area and there's lots of dirt and dust this dirt and dust is going to be in all the key contacts, so it's pointless trying to take each key out and clean them one at a time. So what we have to do is loosen the circuit boards and we're going to loosen all these screws going right across to the other side. We're going to lift the circuit board out and then I'll show you what happens. Okay, the screws are out, the board lifts up. Now. In a, in a machine that's been played in a very dirty, dusty environment, you're going to find that dust and mud will have got underneath the key contacts. So this will stop the keyboard playing properly. So what we do is we just take notice that there's shallow holes along there and there are deep holes on the sides. So just make a little mark on your circuit board to say okay that's that's the side of the deep holes because if you put them back that way around the key touch is not going to work properly so make sure that you put them back the same way they came out you'll also see that the little grooves on the one side whereas this side of the rubber contact is absolutely straight so what we do is we take these rubber contacts off we pour handy andy all over the rubber contacts Rub the rubber contacts with a handy andy, put it under warm water. Once all the handy andy and the muck is gone, put it like that. And, if, and then just put it outside somewhere in the sun to dry. Don't try and use heat. This is a rubber material, you don't want to bend it or deform it in any way. Then you can take these circuit boards and wipe them with cloth and make sure that circuit boards are all nice and clean. Then these key contact rubbers go back and you just reverse the whole process and screw the whole lot together and you're good to go. You don't use any kind of spray contact cleaner because these little carbon pads will be damaged by the spray 
and these carbon contacts will be damaged by the spray and then the keyboard will never work again. So soap and warm water.